Hi Cupcakes! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get this very glowy, dewy, golden makeup look. First thing I'm going into are these Cover FX Enhancer Drops from Celestial, or in the shade Celestial. And I wanted to try it the Instagram way, so right here I'm just being extra as fuck. And then I'm just blending that into the skin with a stippling brush by Morphe Brushes. Yeah, I look crazy. And I just rub that into my skin as well with my fingers. Then I'm going into some foundation from BH Cosmetics, and this is in Medium Rose 220. And I'm just dotting my face and then blending that out with my damp beauty blender. And I'm going to speed this up because no one wants to watch me do this all day. Next, I'm going into some Studio Finish Concealer from MAC and applying that in triangle shapes under my eyes. Applying some to the forehead and a heart shape. Aww. Um, my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and under where I'm supposed to contour, and then pouncing that in with my damp beauty blender. Oh, and this is in the shade NC35. I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder in the number 25 and just basically set my whole face. I'm not going to bake. I'm just going to take some up on my damp beauty blender and just press that into my skin all over. Next, I'm going into my Butte Basics Bronze Essential Palette, and I'm just going to swipe my contouring brush across the whole palette and contour my face. So this is going to give me a little glow as well, since it does have a little bit of highlighter in there. Then I'm going to contour my nose, my cupid's bow, and under my chin. For blush, I'm going into my Real Her Be Fearless, Be Limitless blush kit. And I'm going into Fearless, which has a little bit of glow to it. So I'm just going to apply that with my Crown Cosmetics blush brush and dust the rest on my nose. Next, I'm going into one of my new favorite highlighters that I got from Little Tokyo in LA. This was literally $5 and I'm shook it. I'm taking that up on a damp beauty blender and applying that to the highlights of my face. For brows, of course, I'm using my Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Ebony. And to conceal them, I'm going back into my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC35. I'm going back into my Bronze Essential Palette into that dark brown shade with a fluffy blending brush and going right into my crease. To mark my waterline, I'm using my Jumbo Eye Pencil from NYX in the shade Milk. Then I'm taking a fluffy flat brush and running that same bronze shade on my lower lash line. Then I'm taking another one of my new favorite highlighters and this is also from the same brand, Nobby, that I got from Little Tokyo. And I'm just going to run that all over my lids with my finger. This kind of reminds me of Rihanna's Trophy Wife highlighter except not as yellow and not as bright obviously. But it does have that very golden and very wet look which is what I like. And it's actually very bright in person but not as bright as this bitch which is what I use to highlight my face and I'm gonna use that same highlighter to highlight my brow bone and my inner corners. I'm also going to apply that right in the center of my lids just to give it a little bit more dimension so it's you know like brighter in the center. Uh, we're gonna kick things up a notch by going into my Anastasia Ultimate Glow Kit into snow with my damp beauty blender and just go on the very top of my cheekbones. For some eyeliner, we are using yet another gold shiny metallic thing. <laughs> um, this is from NYX and I'm just going to, you know, draw some wing liner on. I feel like I'm doing the highlighter challenge right now. <laughs> just using a bunch of different highlighters. But uh, nah, this, is, this, this ain't it. But if you want me to make a video using just highlighters, let me know in the comments below. To give this look an even more shabang, shabam, lang a lang look, I'm using my Lemonheads Paradise Beef Glitter. This is like my ultimate favorite glitter at the moment. I feel like I always use this in my tutorials. Okay, not always, but I use this glitter in a lot of my tutorials. But I'm just applying that with a little flat brush to the center of my lids. 
To coat my lashes, I'm using one of my favorite mascaras, and this is Better Than Sex by Too Faced. Then of course I'm using my Ultimate All-in-One Mascara by Revlon to coat my bottom lashes. Then I'm going to set my face in place with the setting spray that I made and then apply some lashes and I believe these are bold face makeup. Um, I don't know which style but stay tuned because I have something so 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 exciting for you guys with that brand coming soon. Last but not least, I'm applying some ultra matte lipstick from Colourpop Cosmetics and this is in the shade Bumble. So this is the final look. I really love how it turned out. Um, I did use some different techniques as well when I did this look. Um, I don't usually use cover FX enhancer drops and I've never tried um, using it on my whole face before applying my foundation. And that I can tell made my face like really dewy and like really healthy looking. And also I've never tried using a beauty blender to apply my highlight and I can tell that made a huge difference. When I usually apply highlighter, I just use like a regular brush. Um, and it makes my highlighter like you can see the powder on top of my skin it just looks really dotty and i never knew how to fix it i always tried blending it out with my beauty blender but um i could still see like the powder laying on top of my skin i noticed by applying the highlighter directly with my beauty blender um that made such a difference it just melted the product right into my skin but yeah this is the final look i hope you love it as much as i do give it a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already also don't forget to hit that bell shape button next to the subscribe button so you can be notified of when I post new videos. I post a new video about once a week, usually every Tuesday. Um, sometimes I upload it late so it'll go up on a Wednesday or something like that, but I try to post at least once a week on Tuesday. So yeah, if you're new, I would love for you to subscribe and become a cupcake. And if you do, please comment below and say hi. Thank you so much for watching again. Stay caked, stay fierce, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!